That's right, Mike. Yeah, we uh, have quite a bit of snow here in Nashua, and the snow continues to fall. Although I will say that the snowflakes were giant just a little while ago, and they've gotten a little bit smaller. But as you can see, I'll let you take a look down the street behind me here. Uh, we still have uh, plenty of snow falling, and look down the uh, the way here, and you can see the snow blowing and drifting around as well as we've been seeing that happen on occasion all afternoon. Of course, that's always great when you get all this snow and then uh, it starts to fill in where you just did all that heavy work. All right, let's take a look at some of the uh, totals around the region. Kingston at 28 and a half inches and 28 inches also in Atkinson as well as here in Nashua, by the way, and many uh, other locations, of course, as well. Hampton at about 25 inches from our spotters and then some lesser amounts, but still very impressive. Anytime you get a foot and a half of snow, it's impressive. Francis Town at 17 inches, Manchester at 16 inches. Of course, the farther to the north and west you head, the lower those amounts are. But still, most places in the state at least getting three, four, five, six inches. And then there's places like here where we're seeing 28 inches. Don't see this all that often. Toss back to you guys in the studio. Okay, Josh, thank mm -hmm. you. These snow totals are sure impressive. That's impressive. right. This tractor working overtime to clear all of the snow in this section of dairy, but it still didn't prevent cars from getting stuck. Our Audrey Cox is in Plastow, which Audrey has been another hard hit community today. Jen, it sure has. In fact, at least two feet of snow here in Plastow, and it continues to fall at this hour. The wind has kicked up in the last hour since we've been here. Now, Department of Public Works crews have been out throughout the day uh, trying to clear the main roads like Route 125. We did see, see, see some traffic on there earlier, but also working to clear some of these secondary roads as well. We saw a lot of people late this afternoon venture outside, uh, plowing their own driveways, shoveling, snow blowing. Uh, the snow drifts here are quite large as the uh, plows have continued to clear the snow. One thing that the police have told us, they say that there have been no major problems due to the snowstorm, no uh, power outages, no major car accidents, but they do ask people that when they clear their driveways, you must not put snow into the street or else you'll be fine. Live here in Plastow, I'm Audrey Cox, back to you in the studio. Okay, moving from Plastow to Nashua now, where we have seen the snow piling up there since very early this morning, and that's where Shelly Walcott is. What's the update from there, Shelly? Still snowing. Well, it's still snowing. Can you believe it, Jen? It's been snowing here all day long, and the total of snow inches out here this evening, 28 inches. And Nashua is actually the perfect case study in why people need to stay home today. Even traveling to the city was difficult. Take a look at this video that we shot earlier with our GoPro camera. The Everett Turnpike quite slick today. And then things slowed down considerably, even came to a full stop after we had to follow a convoy of snow plows. Very slow going out here. Taking a look back out live, you can see that this thick powdery snow is covering all of the sidewalks, covering the roadways. Again, though, um, police officers in Nashua had a bit of an easier day today, and they say thanks to people who heeded the warning to stay off of the roads, and as a result, not too many incidents today. So again, the cleanup is underway here in Nashua. Lots of snow plows around, and officers are asking people to stay off the roadways if they can tonight because of the cleanup, but mostly because of the slick conditions. That's the scene from Nashua. I'm Shelley Walker, WMUR News 9.